welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to cut this doll's mannequin's hair. Um, what I've done the other day, we've, we've already cut it from the previous tutorial. Today I'm actually going to cut all this side bit off here and I'm going to give her a fringe, but it's actually parted slightly on the side. I've actually just um, sectioned it off at the moment to save a bit of time, so it's just a little bit of a triangle. So what I'm going to do is just do a quick basic haircut just to make the, the sides the same as the back. So it's a little bit like a Mary Quant sort of style, or a Bob style. Okay, so we will start off. I'm going to start off at the side, and I'm going to match the back here with the sides there. Okay, so I just need to wet it down and make a start. Okay, so we've already got all the the style all blow dry and straightened, so we all know we know how it's already sitting, but we're just gonna cut all this chunk off now and get our hair a bit shorter. So just behind the crown, take a little bit of the part from the back, which is the short part that you want to keep with the main bit of the length. So we want to keep the length here but bring it all the way around. So you just need a guideline. So I'm just gonna section up a little guideline. Okay, and then across the ear again. Okay, if you can see how I've got that like that, okay. Actually, I've gotta go a little bit higher. All right, so we've got part of the back and obviously the front. And again, the same thing as last time, be very careful with not pulling too much tension over the ear because it will spring up and we don't want it to spring up. Okay, so we, we took the head. We remember the short part here, but I'm gonna do it in stages. So I'm gonna pick a little bit from the back here. Scoop it all up and again, we're going around to where the chin lip is there, okay? So this is your short part again. You're gonna create a new new line just at the front here, uh, which will be, um, that'll be the length from the chin. And what I do, like I said before, I, I put my finger at the back to, to stabilize my hand, to, just to pull the hair out slightly. By pulling the hair out slightly, you are going to have a bit of a graduation, but we can go back in and trim it after. So, if you can see that there, short point, create a new short point here and cut straight across. Pick up a little bit of the hair that you're going to cut next. Lift it out slightly. And we're not, uh, we're not got to the ear yet, but there will have to be a little bit looser tension across there. And just with this part here, again, just lift it out so I'm not pulling much. You can see there's a little bit of tension there, and sorry, not too much tension, a bit of looseness. So we've created the new um, the new length at the side there. Okay, and when it's dried off again, we'll we'll chip into this little bit and, and tidy all that up there. Okay, so just take another part of the section there. It's not going to take so long because you've already kind of got the style anyway. You're just taking the sides a bit shorter. Okay, so. Well, you really sort of follow the same thing. You're following your guideline again. Oh, there we go again. If you still wanted a little bit of it going forward, obviously you're going to drag it forward a little bit at the front there. But looking side on, you will get, you're going to get that sort of look to it there. Okay, and again, we'll cut in afterwards on the side there. 
So you can see the difference from this side here at the moment, and we're going to go a little bit shorter there. see that with my hand might bring you a little bit closer and I'm just lifting my fingers out the same sort of elevation as before each time really. So keeping, we can probably put a little bit more, pull a bit more down over the ear now because you've got your baseline, so it's not going to spring up too much because you've got all the weight there at the front there. basic hair cut really. I'll do the other side for you to see. This poor girl, she's getting her hair shorter and shorter. <laughs> I'll probably layer it next time again. All right, so we've got more hair on this side, so it'll just be the same sort of technique, exactly the same technique, it's just that you've got a bit more hair because the parting's over that side, so you've got to drag more hair over. Again, hopefully not too close for you. Take a section there. And let's just keep straight. You probably have to just check because this model's hair had like the side swept sort of fringe bit where the face framing was. You're just going to make sure you've got the same amount just at the side on the other side too. Because this was a longer side anyway, so just make sure you keep checking it. Otherwise you'll be cutting all the way through and realise you've got the wrong guy. Why? Well, because it's not the right length. And again, it's going to be chin left, so straight across. Take some from the back and and like I said in the other video, make sure your client is sitting straight with her legs not crossed because it can alter the balance of the, the style. So let's have a look. Start off with that bit there because the front bit's starting, it's going to get a little bit bigger there as long as those bits are about right. Again, lifting it out slightly, and my little fingers touching the, the nape just for um, support to hold the hair. And straight across there, 
And so we can swallow that all the way up. much hair left on there so that's good. We're almost the end of it now. Just check, just make sure that the back connects to the sides. Make sure we haven't missed anything there. It's starting to look like that. It's all come down anyway. So that's all good there. Oh, a little bit from there. So that's how we can remove it. See how we're looking. So that's how we're looking so far. Okay, so as you can see, that's quite basic. You're literally blending in the back with the sides just to cut them off. I mean, you can even do it with your own hair. <laughs> I've done it heaps of times as well. So what we're going to do now with the front, um, I'm going to do the twisting. I did it on my own fringe. I've sectioned it off um, because it's a slight angle and like they're parting slightly on the side, not in the middle. So I've done a bit of a triangle there, and I'll show you how I do the fringe. I should pin this all back here. Okay, so we've got that, we've got it all ready, and We'll create a little fringe or a bang here in America. Now, the way I was shown, which is what I showed you on my own video, um, comb it all forward and then you're going to twist it, swap hands, swap hands again, and then cut the length you want it to be. And that will slightly give you a curve look, so you could have the long bit there and the shorter bit just there. So, I'll do that one again. Okay, so straight out, and then twist it, swap it in that hand, and swap it back down, and maybe drag it down a little bit to get it a bit longer. Okay, and just cut all that the way here, whatever length you want it to be. Let's hope she wants a short fringe. Okay, and then that will give you that look, okay, the curvy look. And... I need to just check those sides because, oh, they're pretty, pretty even. And you can also cross check it this way as well. But that's pretty even there. In fact, it's very even. See? Well, it should be a curve slightly, so slightly up on that side. So, she has a fringe. Um, if you want to take a bit of the bulk out, you can just layer it slightly. And the way I'll do that is just lift it up and just sort of cut off the end bits up there. So we can do that. 
And when you do it that way, drag it all into the middle as well. And that way, the side bits will still stay, stay quite full, and the middle bit a bit up. The middle bit will be a bit lighter. Okay, so that all goes to the middle. Okay, and that's a pretty simple um, fringe. It'll bounce up, that's why I've gone a little bit longer on there. So let's have a look at our model now. Looking very nice. And again, just to, to check that side bit, you can comb it all forward and just make sure we've got the same, well, just make sure it's even. So let's just have a look here. Uh, maybe a teeny mini bit there. Okay, you wouldn't do that on your normal, um, real person, but I'll just shake <laughs> so I can see how it's sitting. Okay, so we could go in a bit short and do a bit more of that fringe, but there's our little fringe um, at the moment. Now with the back, um, let's have a look how that's looking. I'm gonna go into detail off and probably just trim all the underneath bit there. Let's have a look. It looks a bit wavy because because I've washed I've wet it all. It's not as nice sleek. But we'll just go through and just tidy some of the ends. Actually I'll do that. I'll do that when I blow dried it. So what I'll do is I'll just trim the underneath bits there. So I will go ahead and blow dry her, straighten her hair, and then we'll finalise it all up as well. All right, so, so far, this is where we're looking. Well, we'll catch you in a moment when it's all dry. I'm just going to show you that I'm just using the big round brush again. I'm just going to go down forward with the round brush. And then I'm just going to go down the back of it with the round still got to chip into it a little bit because I need to get that line a bit more um, more finer detail so I'll just show you what I'm doing there because it still looks like it needs a little bit of trim which is exactly what I said it would do so again just don't put any tension on at the moment and we're just going to go in a little bit all around the back there Try and show you a bit close up so I'm going to just freehand kind of cut into it a little bit here you can see that properly there. And a steady hand here. Or you can use the clippers and just very gently go with the clippers. And the same at the back here. I'm gonna actually, we've got all the graduation bit there, but I'm gonna cut all this, little, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. There's all the bit from the other layer. I'm just gonna blend all that in now. So I'm gonna just, Cut right into that block there. You might have to put a tiny bit of tension just to hold the hair down because it's very springy. Okay, you can see that bit there. And the rest at the back there, so that was just the side bit. Now here, again, there's a bit of a chunky bit there. I'm just gonna lift that out and just start cutting into that bit just here. This is a little bit bulky there from the previous haircut. And I haven't cut it off camera, so I'm showing you as it is. I mean, you can do it that way or you can just chip into it. I can show you the other way. You can just chip, chip into it like that and that will, you won't get that um, really heavy line if you make a bit of a mistake. So we've still got to get rid of this bit here. And the same this side. And I'm just lifting it out so I don't cut too much. 
And again, just chipping that through. And keep flicking the hair around to see how it's laying. And again, underneath that way. You could probably just, just mind you, don't cut your fingers. Just soften the edges a little bit underneath there. Because this is really, this mannequin's hair is really thick. So there's our clean line there. Now, looking from the front, still looks, it looks like this, but what I need to do is just tidy it up a little bit more. So the, the problem is that it's the same length here, but because it was slightly layered before, it's got a little bit of a layer on that side there. So I just have to probably trim a little bit more on here. And by trimming a bit more here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull that out there just slightly just there's a little short bit here so i've probably got a little bit of a corner happening which i don't really need let me take that bit off there and that should match a little bit better now now her fringe you saw the length we did it how we how we put it in the middle and that's how it's sitting now but it, again if it was a real person they'd probably say you can't see out of their eyes so you could either just flick it over and have it like that, or you could cut into it a little bit more. So if you, I'll show you how I did that again, just to cut a tiny bit more up the front there. So again, section it off, and just give it a little bit more of a view. You've got your little guideline there. Okay, so there's our little triangle at the top there. So. <laughs> gather it up in your hand like that twist it and then oh, yeah. gather it in your hand twist it pick it up and then determine a new length there so we'll just go a little bit shorter there It's because it's a side, you've got to just, um, you might have to just adjust it slightly. As you can see, that's probably pretty good now. Then we let our hair out again. And then she has a lovely little bob. There's the finished look. Okay, that's a finished look. And on the side, I mean, it's not too harsh. Like I said, it's really thick hair. You can actually go out and start chipping into these bits here and, and take all the weight out the back there. But just for for a quick tutorial just to blend in the back with the sides no sorry the sides with the back from the old haircut you can just get away with it by just doing it that way so it looks like that there and there's all that underneath bit as well so you know if you walk it around <laughs> you can see how it would lay like that um yeah been neat hey um yeah so again tuck it behind your ear And you get that nice little sleek look on the side, like that. So there is our next bob haircut. Okay, so um, yeah, I'll think of something else to do with her next time. But anyway, that's, that's the overall look for now. So I hope you got some um, value out of this one. And it's good to show you the face framing so the, the fringe, the way I trim the fringe. Um, and if you didn't want that slight curve, you'd obviously not twist it. That way you'll just cut it straight across. So there you go. That's today's little tutorial, my little classic bob. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.